atmospheric pressure and gauge pressure. The pressure of the atmosphere at any point is equal to the weight of a column of air of unit cross-sectional area extending from that point to the top of the atmosphere. At sea level, it is 1.013 into 10 raised to the power 5 Pa or 1 atmosphere. The Italian scientist Evangelista Torricelli, 1608 to 1647 devised for the first time a method for measuring atmospheric pressure. A long glass tube closed at one end and filled with mercury is inverted into a trough of mercury. This device is known as mercury barometer. The space above the mercury column in the tube contains only mercury vapour whose pressure P is so small that it may be neglected. The pressure inside the column at point A must be equal to the pressure at point B which is at the same level. Pressure at B is equal to atmospheric pressure is equal to Pa. Pa is equal to rho GH where rho is the density of mercury and H is the height of the mercury column in the tube. In the experiment, it is found that the mercury column in the barometer has a height of about 76 centimeters at sea level, equivalent to one atmosphere. An open tube manometer is a useful instrument for measuring pressure differences. It consists of a U-tube containing a suitable liquid that is a low density liquid such as oil for measuring small pressure differences and a high density liquid such as mercury for large pressure differences. One end of the tube is open to the atmosphere and the other end is connected to the system whose pressure we want to measure. The pressure P at A is equal to the pressure at point B. What we normally measure is the gauge pressure which is P minus PA and is proportional to manometer height H. Pressure is same at the same level on both the sides of the U-tube containing a fluid.